Well, the Eastern Sierra Recreation Collaborative will be holding a special meeting next week. Now, this is to finalize work on the draft recreation strategy. John Wentworth spoke with Sierra Way Media's Rob Gill. Uh, Rob, this is a very important meeting. Uh, we had four meetings back in the fall of 2014, and the final meeting, uh, we got everybody together and we're working on drafting a recreation strategy. And we found that when all was said and done, there's still some T's to cross and some I's to dot. And we felt it was really important to get everybody back together to really to uh, just to complete the effort. The Inyo National Forest is one of eight early adopters uh, across the country who are updating their forest uh, management plans under new rules called the 2012 Planning Rule. And what happens on the Inyo, it's fair to say to some degree, is going to happen across the country. So it's really important to get this plan right. Um, and there's an important document from the Forest Service called the Framework for Sustainable Recreation. It's really an inspiring document for us and for the, uh, for the Recreation Collaborative uh, to really uh, get in place a management program for the Inyo National Forest that's going to benefit our gateway communities. It's going to do the best thing for the public lands experience that we can possibly do. Uh, it's really going to benefit the Forest Service and the agency moving forward to give them a truly sustainable management program that's really going to be effective and work well for the coming years. Well, if you live in the Eastern Sierra or if you're anybody from around the country who uh, loves public lands, love the public lands experience, uh, this is your opportunity to be a part of uh, shaping the future for how forests across the country get managed. Um, the last time this management plan was updated was, I think, was it 26 years ago, 28 years ago, back in 1988. Uh, it's been a while. A lot's happened in the Forest Service. A lot of new thinking is coming forward in the agency. Uh, and this is really a chance to lend your voice along with a lot of other voices. Uh, to chart the uh, future course for the uh, public land experience here, here, in the, here in the United States of America. We're starting here at the Inyo National Forest. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity to be involved in something that may have some real uh, historic input down the line. Uh, probably the best place to get info is eastsierrarec.org. That's eastsierrarec with a C, R E C dot org. And uh, you can sign up to be added to the uh, email newsletter. Uh, you can go to the uh, project webpage, which has got a bunch of great resource documents on it and all the information you'll need for the uh, meeting coming up next week. And I should remind everybody the meeting is next Wednesday, January 14th, uh, at Saracosa College down in Bishop. Uh, there's going to be a special kind of introduction introductory session between 5 and 5.30 for folks who haven't participated yet to date or who want to get kind of up to date on what's been happening. And the regular meeting will start at uh, 5.30, hopefully be over by about 8.30 or so. I would just really encourage everybody to come down. There are folks coming down from all over the state. Uh, there's a lot of national interest in this planning effort and in the collaborative uh, because what's going to happen on the Inyo and the kind of management planning that we do here could be uh, setting the standard for what happens across the country. So there's a lot of eyes on this process. And uh, we all love the Inyo. We love the great experiences we have around here. And I think anything that we can do to make these experiences better and to work better with our partners, the Inyo National Forest, it's a great opportunity to contribute and uh, to good do good things to the public lands experience. All right, thanks for that, John. And again, that's Wednesday, January 14th, Saracosa Community College in Bishop. Special orientation session at 5, meeting at 5.30. We're going to be wrapping up by 8.30. Well, the Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair is once again asking for entries from the public to determine the slogan for this 2015 fair. The slogan contest open to any resident of Inyo, Mono, or Alpine County. Now, fair CEO Sally Simons said staff recently came across premium books from the fair office from 19, uh, excuse me, 1896, 1900, and 1901. That got them to thinking about the area's rich heritage and agricultural history. Now, in connection with the find, they decided to look for a slogan for the 2015 fair that includes the heritage of the Eastern Sierra and the cultures that call Inyo Inyo, Mono, and Alpine County's home. Now, ideally, this year's theme will encompass the agricultural, Native American, and Hispanic cultures and heritage unique to our area. According to a press release from the Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair, you can submit those entries via email, ceo at tricountyfair.com. They're due by January 31st. As always, the winning entry will receive an all-event fair pass. Now, if you would like some more information, anything to do with the Tri-County Fair, 760 we will note the office will be closed next Monday and Tuesday for some staff training. And the outpouring of tributes continue for Bennett Kessler, the founder and owner of Sierra Wave Media and this uh, 
business here is a pinnacle to a long and storied journalistic career. Bennett Kessler passed away last Friday. We'd like to share some of the great comments about Bennett, uh, who wrote more hard-hitting stories of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power than any other subject. And we will note that the DWP was professional and nice enough to put out a statement saying the LADWP is saddened by the passing of longtime Eastern Sierra journalist Bennett Kessler. The area has lost a great advocate and voice, and she will be missed by all. Over the years, we had many interactions with Bennett, and even though we saw some issues from different points of view, we always appreciated her openness and willingness to engage the issues as a professional. Bennett would unfailingly contact us when a story was in the works or she heard a rumor, and it was her practice to relate the LADWP side of the story after communicating with us. She had an enormous impact on public information about the Eastern Sierra, and her reach was boundless. Her passing has left a void that could not be filled, but her legacy will long endure. And that was signed Jim Yanata, manager of Aqueduct, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. Also from the Inyo County Sheriff's Office, expressing sincerest condolences to her friends and family, saying the Owens Valley lost a true advocate, a steadfast truth seeker, and for many, a dear friend. Rest in peace, Bennett. And from new Mono County Sheriff, Ingrid Braun, we have lost a champion for the truth. Thank you, Bennett, for dedicating yourself to making the Eastern Sierra a better place. I will miss you. And from outgoing Mammoth Police Chief Dan Watson, Bennett's passing creates a huge void in the Eastern Sierra that will never be filled. I enjoyed getting to know her over the past few years. I admired her journalistic integrity and efforts to keep the public informed of what was going on behind the scenes. She always tried to get it right. I will miss her gentle yet determined spirit. And boy, we just love this one from Nancy Baker. The Eastern Sierra will miss Bennett Kessler. She was the only true independent source for local news. Her devotion to uncovering the truths behind press releases from groups such as the DWP was a rarity in this day and age. It was a privilege to work with her for many years. I respected her as a person, a woman, and a colleague. I hope her family and close friends realize what a difference she made to our local communities.